Hello students, how are you? I hope you all are doing well and gearing up yourself for the upcoming term 1 exam. Revision is going on, right? So, as you will revise chapter wise, means class 12 and class 10 as well. Chapter wise revision once done, you can go and check the link in the description of this video. You will find free online test and many case based study video solutions are also there. So please go and check the description box. You will find the link. And online tests are absolutely free for you people. Okay. Now coming back to the question. Question is, this is again case study question. Since we have solving, since many days only case based study, I am posting for class 10 as well as class 12 also. So here is the one from area related to circle. Okay. That is also there in our term 1 syllabus. Question is Puklam is the flower bed or flower pattern designed during Onam in Kerala. It is similar as Rangoli in North India and Kolam in Tamil Nadu. During the festival of Onam, your school is planning to conduct a Puklam competition. Your friend who is a partner in competition suggests two designs given below. Observe them carefully. So these are the two designs given to us. Design 1. This design is made with a circle of radius 32. So radius 32 is given. Okay. Suppose if O is the center, OB is 32. Similarly, OA, OC we can say. And leaving equilateral triangle. Okay. ABC is an equilateral triangle. And design 2 is made with 9 circular design. See, 9 circles are there. Each of radius 7 cm. Now we'll come to the question part. Question number one is refer design one, the side of equilateral triangle. So design one, our design one is a equilateral triangle inscribed in a circle, inside the circle, isn't it? A, B, C, where OB length is given 32 centimeter. We have to find side means A, B, B, C, A, C, any one side if we can find. Uh, so, answer we will get. Now, what we will do here, we will join, let this point be O, center O, we will join O, C. And we will draw one perpendicular from A to B, C, which will meet B, C at D. Okay. Now, in equilateral triangle, this point is very important. In equilateral triangle, median, perpendicular and angle bisector all are same. Okay. That means if AD, I am drawing as a perpendicular. So, this will act as a bisector that is median. And as well as angle bisector. So this will bisect angle A as well as angle O also. So these two angles also will be equal. Now angle A we know this will be 60 right. Because it is an equilateral triangle. So each angle will be 60. Can you find this angle, angle, complete angle O? So there is one relation. There is one theorem in class 9. Angle subtended at center, that means this angle, is double the angle subtended at any point on the circle. So, this will be 120. Okay. Now, since this is the bisector also, so we will get 60 here. Okay. So, this will be 60. And since it is 90, angle B will be 30. So, if I draw... O, B, D separately, this is 30, this is radius, this one is 60, this one is 90. Okay. Now, if B, C I need to find. So, if I could find B, D length, I will double it to get B, C. Since A, D is median also. Isn't it? So, to find B, D, we can use cos ratio because we know hypo. Here, OB, OB is hypotenuse, right? So, we have to relate hypotenuse with adjacent side. So, cos 30 is the relation. Cos theta actually. So, here 30 is given. So, cos 30 is BD by OB. Cos 30 is root 3 by 2. BD we should find. 
OB is 32. So BD will be 32 by 2 root 3. That is 16 root 3. So BC will be twice of BD. So 16 into 2 root 3. That is 32 root 3 centimeter. Which is in option B. Question number 2 is the altitude of the equilateral triangle is. Now in a, uh, our equilateral triangle is ABC. Okay and we have drawn one altitude perpendicular that is AD. And AD if it is a perpendicular in equilateral triangle it will be an angle bisector as well as it will be a median also right. So angle A is 60 but since it is angle bisector we will get this angle as 30. This is 90 no doubt. So this will be 60. And AB length that is a side of equilateral triangle we got as 32 root 3. Now we have to find AD. So again we need the one relation between AD and AB because AB length we know and we have been given sign uh, this 30 angle and 60 angle. So see if I want to use 30 angle so this adjacent side and hypo will give the relation. That means cos 30 I should use to get AD length. Otherwise we can use 60 angle also. So if you are using 60 you need relation between opposite and hypo. That means sine trigonometric ratio should be used. Okay, any one will give the answer. So cos 30 is root 3 by 2. AD we want 32 root 3 AB already we found. Rearrange the terms. So uh, this will give 16. 16 into 3 AD is equal to 48 centimeter which is in option C. Question number 3 is refer design 2. Area of square is. Now in uh, design 2 if you observe square is given and inside the square small small 9 circles are given. Okay, with radius 7. With radius 7. Side of a square is not given. And to find area of a square, we need side. So if you observe diameter of one circle plus diameter of another circle plus diameter. So these three diameter, if we add, we will get side of a square, isn't it? So if uh, <clears throat> radius is 7, Radius is 7. Diameter will be 14. Okay. Therefore side will be 14 into 3. That is 42 centimeter. So 42 centimeter. So area of a square will be 42 square. Okay. So we have found uh, side of a square using diameter of the circles. So 42 square will be what? 1764 1764 centimeter square which is in option B. So B option is correct. Question number 4 is also based on second design. Okay. Uh, area of each circular design. So we know 9 circles are given. 1 circle with radius 7. Okay. So area of 1 circle will be pi r square pi means 22 by 7 we can keep r is 7 into 7 1 7 will go so 7 2s are 14 and 15 154 is the answer 154 centimeter square so this is one area okay area of one circle option d now question 5 is area of the remaining portion so if you observe area of the remaining portion means if we subtract if we subtract 9 circle area of 9 circle from area of a square we will get the remaining portion area isn't it so area of remaining portion will be 
already we found area of square and area of one circle so remaining portion will be area of square minus 9 times area of circle so area of square was 1764 this is 154 so multiply and then divide uh, sorry subtract One three eight six. Okay, so this will be fourteen minus six eight, fifteen minus eight seven. Okay, then uh, this will be fourteen. Uh, sorry, <coughs> sixteen minus thirteen will be thirty three. So three seventy eight centimeter square is the area of remaining portion. Okay, remaining portion. So three seventy eight is in A option. A option is correct option. So I hope you understood the question. Thank you.